The way I see it, art is in everything. My name is Jenny Lynn, and I am a quirky green haired artist living in Western New York. And this is my variety show. So, come along with me and see what's inside the artful world of Jenny Lynn. So, this episode is going to be about the Venus flytrap, and I'm going to make some artwork that has a Venus flytrap in it. And this particular artwork is going to be for Kenny because Kenny loves Venus flytraps, but not only is it gonna be a Venus flytrap, but I'm gonna incorporate in this artwork a bunch of things that Kenny absolutely loves. So Kenny, he, he, he likes aliens. He likes sci-fi space. He likes pinup girls and he loves Venus flytraps. So I'm going to attempt to put all of those elements together in one painting. <laughs> it's going to be really, really fun. Okay, guys, keep on watching. Ready, set, draw. Here I am working out my really cool idea for the pinup, the alien pinup girl. And um, at first, of course, I, I draw very, very lightly on the paper and then I refine it. And you'll see me erasing and breaking out my handy dandy ruler and awesome things like that. about the Venus flytrap. So this uh, plant is not an animal, even though it's carnivorous. So that pretty much means that it eats meat, okay? So it eats uh, things like um, ants and spiders and of course, flies. Pretty much anything that can, you know, land on it and uh, get consumed, I suppose, there with the, the trap. So, um, when I was doing some research about this plant, I was surprised to learn that this little feller doesn't live in some faraway rainforest or some other exotic land. It actually lives in North and South Carolina. That's actually where it's from. Wow, right? I was just beside myself. I says, well, this looks like something that might actually have come from another planet. But you know, it's from the good old USA, so you know, there there's an interesting little factoid. And then the last thing I'm gonna tell you about this bugger right here is that they live a really long lifespan. I was kind of shocked at this one. 
they can live for 20 years or more, right? Amazing. Just fascinating. So there you go. I hope you guys learned something. And what is cool about this particular filming is that I do show how I make my own transfers in it. So if you pay attention, you will see how that actually works. I will make that into an art tip eventually for a future episode. Um, here you see me priming out and putting down a really cool alien type sky and an alien world type landscape. I was going for something very, very much like maybe a cool mountainous Mars type place. There are going to be so many colors. I, <laughs> I really wanted to use this not only as kind of a fun break from the series that I have been doing, but I also wanted to really test run all of my new paints that I've, I've been trying out. And so as we go, try and count how many colors actually show up in this painting. for what in the heck is Jenny eating? And since we are doing a Venus flytrap episode, I thought it might be appropriate to eat something that actually has a bug in it. This is <laughs> This is a cricket sucker flavored grape. And so, yeah, I'm gonna eat a cricket for you guys to stay in theme. But what I'm gonna do is speed up the process because I'm not just gonna sit here and you guys watch me for two hours to try to get through this whole giant sucker. So I'm gonna bash it with a hammer so I can get to the cricket inside and eat the cricket and let you know. I don't think I have ever had a grape flavored cricket, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unwrap it. Maybe, because this is like a really, really tough wrapper. <laughs> it's 
like, <laughs> oh, you guys might think I'm wimpy, but honestly, I try and open things. Sometimes they're a bit difficult. I'm trying to, there we go. We're getting into it. Maybe. It feels like this might have melted at one point. Ew. I think I, <laughs> I think I did it. All right, so now I'm gonna <laughs> place it inside this little Ziploc bag, just so that way I don't have cricket parts and grape sucker flying everywhere. And I'm gonna bash it really good with a hammer and hopefully not hit my fingers in the process. Do you think I can get it with one hit? I bet you I can. Are you ready? <laughs> I think I <laughs> I think I overdid it a little bit. I blew out my bag. I should have put on my safety goggles. Oh no, I think I smashed a cricket in like five different... <laughs> oh, and this is how you, you make, what is it, rock candy, I guess? Because it looks just like rock candy right there. But I got some, the cricket, I think I have the cricket's head. Let me see. Some of the body is still left. I feel like John Hammond from Jurassic Park. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna eat the cricket. You ready? All I can taste is grape, honestly. I think I'm gonna whack it one more time. Place it because some of the body's still stuck. You guys ready? I'm not gonna hit it as hard as I did the first time. <laughs> there we go. It was stubborn. Ooh, I think I pretty much just turned the cricket into... This didn't go exactly how I expected it to. There's like a cricket leg. Ooh. I pulverized the poor guy. Let's see if I can find a couple other pieces. This is a terrible sucker. It's very it's sticking to my teeth. It tastes like grape, but I have no, there's like actually no telling that the cricket tastes any different than the sucker. So, I have eaten the majority of the cricket, I believe. There's still pieces of it. <laughs> All right, so I would give this experience a five out of five because it's fun to smash things with a hammer. But I'm not a fan of the sucker. It's very crunchy. Tastes like grape, but I'm not impressed with the sucker itself. But I got my protein for the day. So there you go, guys. Oh my gosh, I got, I got a mess. I think I had sucker clear across. <laughs> All right, guys. If you would now, please keep on watching. I wasn't really sure about the watering can. I thought maybe 
I would just go really traditional with that as opposed to making it look like it was from the Jetsons. But the rest of it look, looks like it could be in a Jetsons cartoon. So, um, we've had, I think, four Venus flytraps over the last couple of years. And I'm going to share with you a few things that we learned the hard way about keeping a flytrap alive. <laughs> so, um, one of the mistakes we made was getting the incorrect peat moss because you know if you go online and you look up a lot of different things about you know keeping venus fly traps one of the things you'll see is that they like to have peat moss um, but don't use the miracle grow kind because apparently they put fertilizer in their peat moss and so that actually we found gave one of our plants chemical burns and then it died um, the other thing is too much direct sun is not good for them. We found out that the hard way as well. Um, maybe a little bit is okay, but very, very sparingly because they can, you know, burn up, dry out, and it's too intense for them. So we found that indirect light actually really helps them thrive and do very well. And um, one of the other things we learned is that you have to make sure if you have like kids and pets and things that they don't, you know, knock the plant off the shelf and then attempt to eat it because we had that happen. <laughs> and uh, Venus flytraps, they won't, I don't think they're gonna kill any of your pets or kids. Like I don't believe that they're um, toxic or anything like that but apparently they taste bad to animals like they're bitter but it didn't stop our cats from munching down our plants <laughs> so those are a few things um, that you need to watch out for and there's a lot of really good information online um, that will help you along in your journey with keeping your Venus flytrap alive and well. So there you go, guys. Good luck if you get one. You might need it. <laughs> so anyway, please keep on watching. Of course, we have my trusty sidekick, Ferris Mueller. He likes to make it in the frame. He likes to watch me paint. It's adorable. finished product one successful painting if I do say so myself 
and I'll let you guys in on a little secret. You want to know what the secret is? And so I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. I just had a really good time painting this because I was really test running my brand new paint that I got. So you will notice there's a lot of color going on in this one and that's because I was having an extra good time, you know, checking out the vibrancy of the color. So it was experimental as well as, you know, it, it conveys what I was going for. I was looking to have an alien pinup and a Venus flytrap in this piece. And um, the, oh, the alien girl in this, it looks like one of those, one of those alien species that was in Star Trek, huh? And if any of you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, go ahead and, and leave the name of that alien race down in the comments section. I see you, Trekkies. I see you. <laughs> but anyway, so I, I really had fun, you know, creating the world as well. So you'll notice there are two moons up here. I painted them to look a lot like moons. And I went with a pink sky. I got some yellow and orange and red in the landscape of the, you know, the hills and mountains and things. So maybe it's Mars or maybe it's a planet like Mars. So yeah, I had, I had a good time. So I hope you guys enjoy this artwork as much as I do. I'm gonna hang it. It's, it's for Kenny and I'm gonna hang it in a special place where we keep the fly trap um, when we buy it because we need to get another one because the cats killed the other one. <laughs> so when the weather gets it's when the weather gets nice and warm, um, I'll, I'll order another fly trap. And there's a specific one we're gonna try. It's the largest fly trap. I forget what the name is. What is the name, Kenny? I forget. I don't know, but it they get really, really big. So we're gonna try again, and I think that'll make our fourth or fifth attempt, but we're gonna keep trying because we really like fly traps. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you were entertained. And now if you would, please share this video out if you loved it. Um, leave me a comment. Um, go ahead and hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when the next video goes up. And I will catch you all in the next one. Bye!